dear friend Karen and I have always loved to get together to do crafts. She and I have been friends for way over a decade now. Trust me, many wonderful scrapbooks have been completed and crafts created between the two of us. So when she posted a little video on her Facebook wall of these sweet little Reese's cup Christmas trees, we decided that we'd try our hand at making some. We gathered all of the necessary supplies and we met in my kitchen and got to work. For each Reese's Cup Christmas tree, you'll need one regular size Reese's Cup, two miniature sized Reese's Cups, and one Hershey's Kiss. And to help with the assembly, you'll need one tub of pre-made chocolate icing, one tub of pre-made vanilla icing, we had green colored vanilla icing, Christmas themed sprinkles, piping bags, and piping tips. I'm thinking you could also use a Ziploc bag and snip one of the bottom corners if you don't have piping bags and tips. The first thing that we did was to take some time to unwrap all of the Reese's Cups and Hershey's Kisses. Then we filled a piping bag up with some of the chocolate icing. The icing would be the glue that would hold all the parts of this little spiffy Christmas tree together. Then we just simply piped a dollop of icing on the Reese's Cups and started building the tree in this order. One small cup, the large cup, one small cup, and top it off with the kiss. Next, it was time to add the garland, the icing. Karen loaded some of the green icing into another piping bag and away we went. Next came the ornaments, the sprinkles. I was so involved in creating that I neglected to take a picture of one of the completely finished Christmas trees. Yeah, go me. Anyway, I hosted my family's Christmas Eve celebration last year, so I made each person a Christmas tree to take home as a favor. Here is how I put those sweet little gifts together, using these little buckets, clear gift bags, and gift ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. First, I placed the bucket inside the bag and snugged the bag down so that I had access to the inside of the bucket. Then, I decorated the tree while it sat inside the bucket. That took a little manipulating and a bit of patience, but I managed to get them done. Then I pulled the bag back up and gathered it together and tied it shut with the gift trim. I placed all of my favors into a pretty Christmas box and put them into my freezer for safekeeping until Christmas. This was a fun little craft that Karen and I really enjoyed putting together. Anyway, maybe this will give you all an idea for a cute favor or something fun to set out with your Christmas goodies. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.